Have you ever had a bunch of bad luck in one day? Can you imagine having such a day every day in your life? Well, let's meet the unluckiest man alive, Nam Kung Dal. Every day is a bad luck day for this poor boy. Let me tell you an example. Dal was walking in the sideway when a boy approached him and gave him spray paint then left. Dal was confused as to what was the boy's intention. Until he turned and saw a group of gangsters pointing at him. Confused, Dal looked around then found a car that had been spray painted with a bunch of scribbles. And of course, he was running for his life being chased by those gangsters. Because of his constant bad luck, he's sent to a reject escape clinic where scientists figure out what is the cause of Dahl's bad luck. Even the head of the scientist wasn't sure Dahl could be cured. Even the other rejects in the clinic treated him as a reject. When Dahl came home from school and got into the MRT, the MRT's door clamped his hair. He stuck there until he accidentally spit it on a bully from his school, Jun Tae. He got really mad and pulled Dahl causing his hair to be ripped out of his head. Dahl was playing football as a goalkeeper. He saw a boy tackle Jun Tae, but then reaches out his hand and hugs him. Dahl missed understanding, thinking it's a way to make friends. He tried the method on Jun Tae, instead of making friends he was later bullied by them. The scientist does some experiments on him. They run an electricity on one of 40 piano keys and ask Dahl to choose one. But in every attempt he always got himself electrocuted. In the second experiment, they ask him to grab an egg. Among those eggs, one of them is raw. Surprisingly, Dahl didn't grab the raw one. All the scientists were stunned. Is Dahl finally cured? Dahl leaves the clinic happily thinking he's cured from the bad luck. The next day, he's getting ready to get back to school. He's excited to start a new journey in a new school. Dahl's mom gave him a 100,001 check as a bribe, just in case he got bullied. On the bus to school, Dahl met a pretty girl named Choi Min Ah. He's really stunned by her beauty. Meanwhile, a group of boys behind him are listening to a tale of the high school bully in his school, Jae Koo. It tells that one night, Jae Koo was riding alone when 17 boys from a rival school blocked his way. Jae Koo wasn't even scared. He knocked out all of them in just a few seconds. When they arrive at school, Dahl sees Jun Tae already waiting for him outside the gate. Luckily, there's a car passing, so Dahl hides behind the car and gets in without meeting Jun Tae. Dahl then bumps into an old friend, Yun Sung. But he seems to be avoiding him. Dahl comes to the teacher's office to introduce himself. His teacher was giving him wise words when Dahl got distracted by Min Ah. Teacher then introduces them both and asks Min Ah to escort Dahl to class. Dahl introduces himself in front of the class and tries to make jokes, but no one laughs and the situation gets awkward. Dahl scans the class to find a seat when he spots Min Ah. He sits next to Min Ah but suddenly, his shoulder is tapped by a girl who he's been sitting on. He was too stunned by Min Ah's beauty to realize that the chair beside Min Ah was already taken. In the toilet, Dahl climbs the bathroom's wall to confront Yun Sung. As to why he was avoiding him. Yun Sung insists he doesn't know Dahl until he mentions the reject camp. Dahl then asks him to help him adjust to school. At first, Yun Sung refused, because he knew Dahl was bad luck. But after Dahl threatens to tell everyone about the camp, Yun Sung agrees to help him. Yun Sung explains to Dahl that the law in school is like the law in the wild. There are predators, and there are prey. It's like when you meet a big shark, you have to be a blowfish. A blowfish acts tough and big so the shark can be scared away. Yun Sung then tells Dahl to practice the blowfish method on some dolphin first. Not long after, Dahl spots Min Ah being bullied by Jae Koo and his friends. He then tells Yun Sung he finds the dolphin to practice on. He runs to save Min Ah. When Jae Koo raises his hand to slap Min Ah, Dahl heroically grabs Jae Koo's hand first. Everyone around them froze. Jae Koo turns to him and shifts to a shark. That's when Dahl realizes he picks the wrong opponent. Dahl still proceeds to act tough and refuses to apologize. Jae Koo raises his fist but his friends detain him because a teacher is around. Not satisfied, Jae Koo challenges him to fight with him on the rooftop after school. Dahl and Yun Sung spend the entire day trying to find a way for Dahl to get out of this fight. Dahl tells Yun Sung that he has a hundred thousand and they can just give it to them so they won't beat him up. When in class, a teacher calls and asks Dahl to collect his feces for a test. When he's still in the toilet, Jae Koo and his friends come in with another boy and bullies him. The boy tries to bribe them with a hundred thousand won, but Jae Koo still beats him until he passes out. Dahl's plan with a hundred thousand won instantly failed. Dahl and Yun Sung are in the toilet to meet Yun Sung's secret friend. This friend turns out to be someone who often helps students to skip class. He drops red ink into Dahl's eye to make it seem like an infection. 
Dahl then goes to his teacher to excuse himself because of the eye infection. But his teacher didn't agree, he insists on doing treatments on Dahl. Dahl went to Yun Sung to tell him that the plan had failed. Fortunately, Yun Sung has another idea. Hiring the school's boxing athlete, Tae Sun, to beat up Jae Koo before the end of school. They went to meet Tae Sun. But he only agrees if he gets paid 200,000. Which means they are still 100,000 short. When Dahl is back in class. He saw one of his classmates open up his wallet which had a lot of money. Next class is PE. All the students gather in the field. Because Dahl wasn't wearing sports wear, the teacher asked him to fill the kettle. When Dahl is in his way, he overheard the student from the rival school. They come for revenge on Jae Koo. When everyone is still in the field, Dahl sneaks back to the class. He quietly steals money from his classmate's wallet earlier. Dahl and Yun Sung then went back to Tae Sun to give the money. Tae Sun agrees to fight Jae Koo during lunch. At lunch time, Dahl and Yun Sung are spying on Jae Koo. Yun Sung then comes up to Jae Koo and places an expired milk to his table. Not long after, Tae Sun arrives and walks up to Jae Koo. Tae Sun challenges Jae Koo to be his sparring partner and Jae Koo agrees. They come up to the boxing ring and start to attack each other. They both are pretty beaten up until Tae Sun feels his stomach acting up. Jae Koo sees this as an opportunity to attack him. Jae Koo punches him right in the stomach and jaw, knocking him off. Their plan failed again. Dal and Yun Sung are sitting on a bench trying to find another solution. Then, Dal spots Jun Tae, the bully from his previous school, standing near them. Dal quickly runs avoiding him, but Jun Tae also runs following him. When Jun Tae finally manages to catch up with Dal, Jun Tae explains that he wants to apologize for his previous behavior. He also asks Dal to punch him as an atonement. At first, Dal refuses because he's still scared of him. But Jun Tae continuously persuaded him. Dahl finally punched him in the face and left. Unknown to them, the school's gossip boy was there the entire time and was recording the whole scene. Shocked by the fact that Dahl just punched the famous high school bad boy, he ran to his friend showing the record on his phone. All the students are amazed by the news. Dahl bumps into Yun Sung in the stairs. Yun Sung then tells Dahl about his other brilliant idea. He tells Dahl to admit to the teacher that he stole the money. So that he will be in detention the whole day, and won't be able to come to the rooftop. The teacher came into the class angry. He lectures about how disappointed he is in them. He asks them all to drop their heads and close their eyes. When he asks the thief to raise their hand, Dahl raises his hand confidently. But when he raises his head, it turns out a lot of other classmates also raise their hands. The teacher then apologized for accusing them, appreciating their solidarity. Again and again, their plans have failed. Haven't given up yet, Dahl searches for another way to get him to detention. He smokes in front of detention, but suddenly some of his schoolmates snatch his cigarette. Thinking they're helping him. On the other hand, one of the students from the rival school was watching him the whole time. Now, he thought Dahl is the one that beat up their schoolmates instead of Jae Koo. In class, two students are fighting over a pen when one of them accidentally says bad words. The teacher turns around angry, thinking the words were directed at him. He grabs the student and screams at him. Dahl saw this as an opportunity to get him in detention. He got up and lectured the teacher about how wrong it is to scream at a student in the middle of class. The teacher then gets angrier and accidentally pulls Dahl's wig. All the students stare at the teacher. The teacher panics then apologizes for his action. His classmate sees him as a hero and begins to hug him. Detention plan has failed. Dahl is in the library when a student informs him that a teacher requested for him. He follows the student to a warehouse. When he's already inside, that student runs out and locks him inside. Turns out, Jae Koo's men are already there, ready to beat up Dahl. But before they can do it, the student from the rival school also comes to the warehouse. Dahl spots a lamp switch, seeing it as an opportunity to escape. When the light has turned off, they all start to fight each other while Dahl crawls himself out of the warehouse. He confronts the student who lured him earlier. He's surprised to see Dahl still in one piece run away. Dahl then sits next to a boy that has been bullied by him. His name is Chang Yo. He tells Chang Yo that they're friends and he can rely on him. Jae Koo scolded his friend for making the first move on Dal. His friend explains to him that they've heard a rumor that Dal knocks out Jun Tae in one punch. They tell him that they will finish this problem for him. In class, the teacher is asking a volunteer to take a sculpture from the storage room with Min Ah. Of course, all the boys raise his hands for some alone time with Min Ah. But as soon as Dal raises his hand, all the boys lower their hands, scared of Dal. 
In the storage room, Min Ah gets in a chair to grab the sculpture at the top shelf. But then she loses balance and falls on Dahl's arm. A pack of cigarettes and a match fell from her pocket. She asks Dahl to keep it a secret, and of course Dahl said yes. On their way to class, Min Ah thanked Dahl for standing up for her this morning. She also confesses that she's glad Dahl volunteered for this. Hearing sweet words from his crush, Dahl blushes so hard until he drops the sculpture in his hand. When he goes back to get another sculpture, Jay Koo's friends come and make him a deal. The deal is that Dahl won't have to fight Jay Koo if he joins their group. Dahl is thrilled hearing it, he finally won't have to think of another way to avoid it. Dahl arrives at their meeting place and is welcomed by Jay Koo. Jay Koo then tells him that they have a tradition for their newbie. The tradition being the newbie has to beat up a student of their choosing. Unfortunately for him, the student he has to beat up is the same student he just befriended, Chang Yo. Chang Yo begs him to not beat him. But Jay Koo and both his friends threaten Dal. Unfortunately for Chang Yo, Dal chooses to beat him. Dal beat his first ever friend mercilessly. Even they have to pull him to stop. Dal, Jay Koo, and his friends walk in the hallway while all the students step aside frighteningly. Yun Sung went up to Dal disappointed. He cursed at Dal's choice. Dal explains that he is only doing it to survive. Yun Sung didn't accept his excuse and ended their friendship. After school, Dal walks up to Jay Koo and informs him that he wants to end their deal. Also he'll wait for him at the rooftop. Min Ah is already waiting for him outside. She asks Dal not to go. But Dal refuses, for the first time, he wants to do the right thing. At the rooftop, Jay Koo is already waiting for him with his friends. Dal attacks first, but Jay Koo attacks him back harder. Jay Koo beats him up until Dal's face is covered in blood. Suddenly, Yun Sung comes and attacks Jay Koo, but of course Jay Koo knocks him off easily. Seeing his friend get beaten, Dal got the courage to fight again. This time, Jay Koo fell in pain. With one last punch, Nam Kung Dal defeats the almighty Jay Koo. Then, more of Dal's friends come to beat the rest of Jay Koo's friends. Dal gets out of that rooftop carried by Yun Sung, his friend. Now, Dal has friends of his own. He also doesn't have to move school ever again. Nam Kung Dal is no longer the unluckiest man alive. He is now just a normal high school student. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.